Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Blazor website tutorial. In this video, we're going to be creating a table component that we can then put in a page to display all of the books that we've got in our service. So currently, we don't have a real database. I've just hard-coded the data that we can request from the service. In the next video, I plan on making a real database connection where we can create, update, and delete from, and also, well, read from as well. So we can do the CRUD model, create, read, update, delete. But before we do that, I actually want to do what we're doing in this video, which is create a table. So what we can have is we can have a page. We go to that page, we see all of our books. We have the book name and then maybe the overview or the blurb or whatever data you want. You know, this can work for any data. It's not just for the book class I've made for this example. And then we'll have a link button to go and view the book. So on the right, we'll click a button. When you do that, it automatically redirects you to that book's URL without you having to manually type it. That's the goal for this video. Let's get into it. But of course, first I've got to thank my patrons, a special thanks to JVK Makerspace, some Hobo 101, Average Morning, Rack, Yoris Letter, Hades Zorko, Rene, Evgeny, Art Farrell, Buddha Ray, and Marie Baldwin. If anyone else is able to help support the channel monetarily, the link to my Patreon is down below. If not, there are links down below to other social media, such as Twitch, Twitter, Discord. Also, our website is down below. I'd be greatly appreciated if you could go create an account on our website. It's completely free. Go have a look around of what we got. We're constantly adding new stuff and creating new releases, so stay up to date with that in our Discord server. But yeah, let's get into the video. So as always, if you head down below to my GitHub page, you can get access to the source code for these videos. So you guys don't have to ask me in the comments, you know, can I have a link to the code? It's all there for you guys to go and look through. All I've done since the last video is I've uh, fiddled around with the folder structure. So none of the code has changed. I've just, um, you know, put things into folders better. I've organized things a bit neater. So nothing's changed for you guys. You know, nothing will break from this. You don't have to do the same changes I made, but you can go look at my GitHub if you want to, you know, fiddle it around the same way I did. But anyway, now that we're set up like this again, like last video, we've got slash book zero, one, two, and it obviously it basically queries and tries to find something with that ID. If we go to book three, it doesn't exist. It just returns us back to the home page. Maybe you want to display something else, but that's how I've done it. Okay. Now we want an easy way to click here. Maybe next to home, we'll have a books tab. Now keep in mind this top thing takes us to home anyway. So I might just get rid of the home tab and just have that be the home tab. So we'll have a books uh, nav link. When we click it, we go to slash books and the slash books page should give us a table view of all of our books. So let's get into that now. So the first thing to do is go make the components and the code. So we're going to go copy what we currently have with the book view. And we're going to, whoops, I copied that twice. So we're going to have now the book table component. Okay. So I'm going to make this the book table component. And I'm going to make this the book table component as well. Okay. I noticed I've just done something wrong. One second. So this should be dot, uh, dot razor dot CS. Okay. Let's go rename the class to be the book table component. And instead of having a book passed in, it should have a list of books. Now, the reason we don't like, for example, you could think, well, we could put um, even more reasonable code by making the component grab the books for us, right? But the component should be dumb. It shouldn't know how to, you know, go to the database and grab books or whatever, because the problem with that is then if you wanted to have different behavior, maybe um, one place where a table of books is displayed, you have all books. Whereas in another page, uh, it's only, you know, certain books because you might have, for example, let's say um, a membership on your website and the certain books which are limited to members only. Well, so that non-member page. So if you go to a page as a non-member, you should only load the ones you're allowed to see. So that should be the page grabbing the books, passing them into the component. Okay. So as we as the component just want an I enumerable of books. Okay. Uh, if you don't know what I enumerable, sorry, a book. And now it's called books. And uh, we need to import probably. Okay. Um, enumerable is just a different data type. It's kind of like a list, except from you can't add and remove for it. It's literally just for enumerating over the thing, right? It just uh, keeps it more lightweight, okay? So anything that can be enumerated, any data structure that can be enumerated over can be used in this component. It keeps it more generic, okay? That's why it's a uh, dot generic namespace. Now, what we need to do is we need to go over to the actual HTML and start writing that. So let's get rid of what we already had. Okay. We want to make a table. Uh, before we do the table, we need to think, well, what if we pass in uh, null, right? What if we don't pass in a list? What if the list is null at the time? Well, in that case, uh, we don't want to render any elements. We just want to tell them it's loading. Because if it's null, it means it's loading or it's broken. And if it's broken, that's probably because you've lost connection or something. So we'll just keep saying loading, right? Maybe you want to add some kind of timer where, I don't know, if it takes too long to load, then you change what it says. But we're just going to say, if the books is null, then we'll just say uh, paragraph... Uh, loading. Also, I'm not an expert HTML, so uh, don't question me on my HTML <laughs> because uh, most of this HTML stuff I'm just getting from online. I'm, I'm more focused on the C-sharp code. This is essentially just saying a paragraph. 
uh, that says loading. So it's just a p tag. And then we're also going to say, well, if um, the books dot any or not books dot any, then we might want to uh, add some books because the thing is, this means the books is not null. It just means it's empty, right? So let's say we've loaded from the database. There just this happens to be no books, right? Well, if there's no books, then we'll just say um, that there are uh, no books found. Okay, so we just say no books found. Otherwise, so in this case, it means we actually have some books. Then we want to display a table. So we're just going to say table. Inside the table component, we're going to want to say the head. And then we also want to say the body. So T body. So the head will be all the different um, column headers, right? Or the table headers. So we're going to say we want a header. Um, so TH is for the header. We're going to say we want a... Actually, I think this is easier to read if you do it in line. So we're going to say, first of all, we could have the name, right? Or the title of the book. Now, personally, I can't actually remember the fields in the book. So let's go have a look. Title overview price. Okay. So for now, I'm just going to go title. Let's keep it really simple. All we display in the table are, is the book title. Okay. And then in the, in the body, we want to loop over all of our books. So we can say at for each var, whoops var book in books okay so all we want to do here is display the actual data so this is the title we want to display okay so we'll say book dot oh so it's capital b book dot title uh what's wrong with this i think it's fine it's just taken a while yeah okay book dot title book is it's happy. I think it's just being a bit slow. Oh, no, sorry. I'm being dumb. I need to put an at sign for it to then recognize it. Yep, my bad. So we have the book title, okay? But we also, that's that's nice and all just displaying the book title, but we need to be able to go to the book, okay? So what we want to do is we want to make another table header, and this one's going to be called, like, view, okay? And this one's actually a hyperlink, or we'll just say, um, yeah, we'll just put, like, go to. And then down here, we might as well put our, um, oops, I need to put this in here. And we'll do it the same way we had over there. Sorry, I just want to put it in line. It just makes it easier to read for these. Okay. On this line, TD, not TDF. We want to say um, at we want to actually go to the book, right? If we click this thing, it should be actually a link, right? We need to go to the book. So we need to go get their ID. We need to use the navigation to get there. So let's go and do that now. Okay, so to do this, it's quite easy. Inside here, we're just going to say um, we want a href, which is a link in HTML. So a href. We want to set it to be slash book slash ID. So we want to say at book dot ID. Okay, like so. And then close that. So we got that A. And then inside here, we want to have, um, well, just the name basically of, well, sorry, the word we actually want to say. So let's say um, view. Okay. So it's gonna it's gonna be a word that says view, but it's wrapped around this A, which means it's a hyperlink to this book ID slash book slash ID. Okay. And that's it for the component really. So we'll say title and go to. Now you can display other information in here. Maybe we'll even do the overview just for the sake of it, right? So we'll say overview. And then down here, we'll have um, in the middle, td at book dot uh, overview. Or is it overview? Book dot. It is the overview. Yes. Okay. Book dot overview. Okay. That's our component done. If you ever want to edit how it looks, you just come back to this component. Then everywhere in your project where you use this table, it will update how it looks. So it's pretty fancy. Okay. We've made that component. Let's go make a page for it. So down in pages, we've got book page. Let's go make books page. So I'm going to uh, go copy the book page and call it the books page. Okay. And copy the C sharp and change it to be the books page. Okay. So let's go to the C sharp first, the books page. And what do we want? Well, we want the book service definitely because we want to actually um, load up the books. We don't need the navigation manager. It's not necessary. And we don't have any IDs because it's just slash book. 
And we don't even store any books. Well, we do actually, sorry. We store a list of books. So we're going to start a private, um, well, it depends actually. Books gives us back an array. So an array is enumerable, so we can actually just do that and pass those in. That's uh, easy enough. So a private book array, books, okay? And we want to say books is equal to get books. Simple. And that's it, okay? All we're going to do here is initialize go get all the books, right? And store it here. And then if we press F7 to go to the component, instead of the book view component, we want the book table component which has books being passed in, and we're going to pass in books, okay? Really simple stuff. Load the books, pass it in. If, it, if the books is null, which it um, could be if there was a problem, then it would simply just um, say loading instead until it's found it, right? As soon as this uh, thing isn't null, uh, it updates this component and it re-renders and it's good like that. That's how it works, right? When variables change, they re-render. Now, there, are, there is some problem with lists. If you add an element to a list, sometimes you have to call a function called status change, which basically forces it to re-render. Re but most of the time, it's smart enough to figure it out. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go run this and see if it works. And if it does, then we'll finish off with some just niceness uh, quality of life features like adding it to the navbar. One thing to mention that I missed is we need to go back to the HTML and go to the top and change the page to be books and then without anything after it, just slash books, okay? I missed that out, let's go run it again. Okay, let's give it a go. Now, I'm not gonna promise that this is gonna look very good, let's have a go. Yeah, it doesn't look great. Obviously, I'm not a HTML master or a CSS master. Some of you guys can make this look better or I could just go online and use some kind of template or, you know, bootstrap thing. But how it is right now isn't too bad, right? We've got our title, our overview, and our go-to, and then we list all the books going down, and each book has a view, okay? So let's say we click on this example book one, view, it takes us to this book and we can read all about it and it goes to slash one for us. If we go down to this one, view, this one, this one, view, this one. So now we've actually built a table where we can go around to all our different things on it. And I think it's pretty cool. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm thinking to end this video, we're just gonna add an avbar, replace this one with a one to the books, and then we'll be done for this video. Obviously you can always suggest down below what you wanna see uh, in my upcoming videos, but let's go get that done real quick. So if we just go to shared nav menu, you'll notice here we have one that says home on it. Okay, now we want to actually just change this. We'll change this uh, link thing. We don't we don't need this match thing. The href should just be uh, slash books. Okay, and it should say books. I'm not going to change anything else. I'm just going to leave it really simple. I'm going to run it again, and we should just sim simply have that uh, link take us to books now. Pretty simple. Let's have a look. Bring it over to my other screen. Give it a second. We've got books, and if we click on books, we're on the overview. We can go here. And if we want to go back, we can quite easily just click books again. Okay, pretty simple. So I'm going to push my changes to GitHub, upload this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. It'd mean a lot. Check out all the things that I mentioned at the start of this video. Um, leave down below what you want to see next, though I already have you know plans for the next few videos. So I'm probably going to take uh, suggestions and remember them for later after the next few videos, which will be database stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to that as much as I am. I'll see you next time and goodbye.